What's going on, everybody? So I think it's only right that I bring out the mid ladder bow deck, which will actually be insane now because, okay, wow, first play of the game. Um, where's my tornado? No, I got starting handed, GG's. But uh, I think it's only fair I bring out this mid ladder deck right here because the Mega Knight has an evolution and now we have Evo MK and Evo Wizard in an expo deck. Yeah, is this gonna work? I mean, I think it could. Um, I'm just gonna give it a couple games, see how it goes. I mean, this is gonna, he's gonna go for the King Tower activation, so I need to go expo immediately here. Um, I'm pretty sure he can just defend this though since he is playing 2.6 but yeah i'm gonna see how this works i mean it's kind of um it seems stupid right mega knight evo wizard in the same deck uh with an expo the, the average cost is only like 3.6 i was debating on trying to um put a building in this deck but i was like i kind of have to have the fireball i kind of have to have the tornado and if you don't have log in an expo deck it just doesn't feel right i don't know how to describe it but um if you're an expo player you probably understand what i mean by that but just gonna cycle my wizard he might go in opposite lane again oh okay he's gonna let that go by itself i can go ahead and grab the king tower activation but now i'm excited to try out this deck mainly because i want to use the evo mk a bunch more and uh, so far i think evo mk i've been i've been having a good amount of success with it um the only problem is the packet just counters it so easily um and there's tons of packet in the meta so you have to adapt to that but i'm just gonna drop the M actually i'm gonna go log um i don't want to drop mk yet because in case he does go for an ice golem hog the river again uh, i might be in a little bit of trouble if i have to deal with that so i'm just gonna go ice spirit like this uh that's fine eh, i mean is that fine i don't really want to drop anything still i'm expecting him since he is playing a quick cycle deck to make the play um is he really leaking wow that, <laughs> that might be the first time i've ever seen a 2.6 hog rider player not spam every card in single uh, most passive player ever but i'm just gonna cycle the bro is he really not gonna play that's wild to me i still don't want to play anything because if i drop my wizard or my mk um he's just gonna go hog the other lane it's gonna be kind of annoying okay since he's not playing playing anything i might just drop this in the back okay i'm gonna go mk the back since he dropped that ice golem um and then we'll see what he wants to do probably gonna musketeer evo mk in this matchup is not gonna do much unfortunately um just because he has too many cycle cards and it's just gonna get like jumped around if that makes sense um while it dies it's not gonna be able to like push something something to the tower and then also get a jump on it if that makes sense wait hold up the wizard is going crazy though from the bridge it's somehow hitting a cannon that's literally like on his side of the map but whatever fair enough i'm gonna go skellies like this to help dps down this hog that should actually die he has to go for another cannon right here i believe on top of this or a musketeer um on top of that okay he's gonna go he's gonna go cannon that's cool i can just drop my mk in the back and there's the hog but we can actually tornado that um to pull it over here okay i thought i messed up the tornado tornado uh, timing for a second but we're all good how do i get damaged though is my question against this matchup it seems to be a little bit tough um just like in aspects of trying to get something to the tower because expo's a little bit useless <laughs> and uh, the mk is not really going to do anything crazy i'm just going to drop the evo mk in the back i think that's kind of how i have to play this is just kind of like make my make sure i don't take any damage um from hogs and then also just try and just keep stacking mks take a fireball in the musketeer if he gives me it and just kind of play like that i'm actually going to go offensive bow up high outside of fireball range you might think it's a weird placement but trust uh, it is the correct placement wizard no dang it's going to get killed by the cannon that's really bad uh, timing on the wizard um dang that's actually so unlucky okay that's fine mk is just not doing anything in this matchup unfortunately but gonna go skellies it's really matchup dependent for sure the card um if it does actually get value so i'm just gonna drop my mk in a second on top of all this that's decent he actually plays a hog into that which is very interesting to me i did not expect him to do that um do i need to log i think do i i don't know i was scared <laughs> uh they can't risk taking a hog hit this late into the game because i'll just pretty much lose off of that so i'm just gonna chill you know we need to build up a massive push it's like my only chance of winning this game so i'm just gonna go wizard nice prediction right there perfect and then i can drop my mk on top of actually do i even need to yeah i do okay i'm gonna drop this here then skellies to block the cannon that's good i think we can win this guys i just need that one good push um so we're gonna go expo in the center like this this is gonna be my chance i think i just have to go pretty much full uh full send go all in right here um if i am gonna have a chance at winning this game so i'm just gonna go like ice beard up high mk the bridge in front of the wizard please get down okay we're looking all right 36 seconds left i don't know if i can break through guys that's the issue i'm gonna go expo like this and hopefully we'll oh mk on tower nice wait how did that just happen i wasn't even looking i was focused on the uh perfect tornado as well i was focused on the um getting another expo down but somehow the mk jumped on tower we got that expo lock as well and this tower just went from full health to absolutely nothing in the matter of three seconds 
Go to our next match here against El El Eliod. Eliod. Um, but I don't know. This ha this has like decent synergy. You'd be surprised how good the Mega Knight plus Wizard combination is together. Okay, Mother Witch is not what we like to see because that might mean Pekka. Please don't be Pekka, please. Um, it's like the one thing I really am struggling against. But MK is going to jump on top of that. Okay, he's got Inferno Dragon, um, which makes me think it's it might be actually Pekka or Mega Knight. Hopefully Mega Knight, though. Um, because it's at least going to give me like somewhat of a chance, I guess. I'm going to cycle the log on top of the ghost. My cycle is a little bit awkward in this situation. I don't really... Okay, I have to fireball that. Um, I'm going to have to tank a, a Ram Rider hit, guy, hit here, I think. Yep, dang it, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. You know, not the end of the world. I don't know if I'm the only one that believes this, but I low-key think... Y'all are going to flame me if I if I drop this opinion, but I low-key think that uh, the Evolution Mega Knight might just need like a tiny buff um i don't know am i crazy for saying that maybe i am <laughs> i don't know it just seems weak um against any kind of heavy card like like i don't know uh it's just super easy to counter if you have elixir i mean if you're on zero elixir sure but that's kind of like any any card in the game you can get cooked if you're on no elixir but i don't know it, it just seems easy uh, to counter in my opinion um if you know what you're doing in the game so i'm just gonna cycle nato like this to kill uh, the mother witch also clip the tower because why not he's got a prince so that definitely means there's no way he has pekka prince right that wouldn't make any sense um so i'm just gonna go wait did that just rhyme i think it did <laughs> i'm just gonna go skellies like this he does arrows that i'm gonna go ice spear right here on top of the prince um i could mk the bridge should i mk the bridge probably not yeah i'm gonna chill I, I really want to be aggressive with the evolution mk but you have to be patient if you want it to work uh correctly how it's supposed to work so i'm just gonna kind of let that die if he does go for a ram rider i can mk on top of it and i can get the king tower active with the ghost perfect tornado placement right there look at me guys if you watch my videos like a couple months ago i could never do a ghost activation without a hit guys uh so y'all gotta be proud of me for my uh, improvements on that <laughs> But just gonna cycle the wizard in the back. Oh my gosh, he's got Pekka. No, dang it. Okay. Wow, that thing just... <laughs> I'm sorry, that animation is still funny to me every single time it hits. Um, I'm just gonna cycle my defensive expo. This is gonna be rough. Oh, I missed the fireball. No, 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 I rallied. I rallied, bro. Oh my gosh, okay. I actually rallied really bad. I'm gonna log that and ice spirit like this. Go for the skellies on top of the prince. I should have natoed that. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm panicking. Okay, if I just natoed that, I think I would have taken no damage or like maybe a few mother witch hits. Uh, I thought that was not gonna connect though. Dang it, bro. My stupid indecisiveness. Um, okay, I'm just gonna expo here, I think. He's gonna Pekka, which is fine i can still win this trust me i just need to get that really really good push off um so i can mk in front of this wizard keep it alive keep the mk like tanking for the pekka then i can fireball like this okay that's good it should die in time please don't take it oh my gosh my mk is on one hp that's perfect okay that wizard's gonna stay there and then i can just spam a uh, skellies plus evo or not evo uh ice spirit right there to be annoying he has to play something on top of that okay um i mean i didn't get any damage which is a little bit depressing but it's all good i'm just gonna go log like this and then i think i have to nato as well because rain rider is like that um rain rider still needs a nerf and prince still needs a nerf by the way supercell if you're watching this video which they're not bro dude i hope one day I, I get a creator code in this game like i'd actually be so excited if i did but i don't know <laughs> there's nothing i can do about it really i'm gonna go for the oh my gosh chill out i have to nato this as well wow that was really close to my tower don't touch me okay we're good <laughs> we're good here we're good i thought that was gonna hit my tower but we're good i can just go mk evo on top of the ghost it's gonna push that all the way back to narnia i mean ice spirit could jump on this inferno dragon please no ice spirit what are you doing oh no i got sold it's gonna jump too late now the now the Mega Knight died. Oh my gosh, he has a second Pekka. What is happening on my screen? Um, okay, we're alive. I mean, somehow I'm alive. I'm just gonna drop the MK on top of this, and then I have to NATO this back. That's a good NATO, actually, because the wizard should splash the Mother Witch, hopefully. No! Oh my gosh, that was way too close. Okay, I'm getting nervous, I can't even lie. Um, oh, I'm down so much damage, what? Wait, what happens? I swear I was, like, even with him a second ago. Gonna cycle the wizard in the back. Nah, I think we're done here. I'm gonna go skellies on top of the ghost. I can fireball that Inferno Dragon, maybe. I don't think I'm gonna win by spell cycles, though. Um, hmm. Evo MK. Log. He's probably just gonna pack at the river, though. Uh, Ice Spirit like this. That should be decent. He does go for the P.E.K.K.A. Okay, hopefully that pushes it back to tower. Okay, please get back to tower, everything. <gasps> please, MK, I need a hit. I need a hit. No. Wait, can I win? I think I can, actually, if I can just defend this um ram rider that he's about to place any second now hunter wait evil wizards are gonna push back the ram rider i think yes perfect this is gonna push it back push it back push it back push it back oh my gosh i won i think no way no way that was so clean oh my gosh the evil wizard shield wow what a comeback guys what a freaking comeback that was insane
I thought it, I thought I had lost that one since I was down like six seven hundred damage uh, with like thirty seconds or forty five seconds left, but somehow we pulled that uh, out of the hat. Okay, we got a match against TikTok here. Um, I'm pretty sure this guy plays Royal Hogs, if I'm not mistaken. I faced him uh, like a day or two ago uh, when I was starting to push up on my other account, and he was playing Hoggy. So we'll see. Yep, perfect. He does have the Hoggy, so I'm just gonna go Wizard like this, and then um, I could I could have activated King Tower here, but I think I would rather just go for an Expo like this in front of the Wizard um, to be annoying, and he's gonna also have to defend that with quite a lot of Elixir. I might just go for a pre-tornado, hopefully lock on Tower quickly. Skellies? No, dang it, he did play the delivery. That's unlucky for me i'm gonna go ice spirit myself just in case he goes for his yeah i mean we're not gonna get damage which kind of sucks but um i mean we get like what is that three four expo ticks which is not bad and he's probably gonna go for the split pigs again i do actually kind of need king tower activation but we do have plenty of, of counters for the pigs um i've got the mk i've got the wizard the fireball which are all three perfect counters for that if you have it uh the right cycle so good skelly split right there prediction i'm gonna go wizard in the sensor again um it's gonna kill both the pigs i think we're good here I don't know, dude. I need to, I need to like, sweat this deck. I have to focus so hard if I do want to win. I'm actually going to MK the bridge. I know this is, like, stupid, but um, it could work. You never know. So I'm just going to let that kind of die out now. It's not going to do much. I might log for the delivery. Okay. That's good. That's really good, I think. <gasps> wizard on tower. That log was actually so clutch. <gasps> Kill it, wizard. Oh, my gosh, guys. Let's go. Holy cow. Uh, the reason that log was so good is because the delivery died. Um, and the wizard survived and then he, he couldn't really kill it because he didn't have a cannon didn't have a delivery in cycle And he just was like panicking on no elixir. So that was really 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 good I'm just gonna go expo like this. We're pretty much even on elixir. Okay. Wow. Uh, oh If I just fireballed that cannon in the pigs, I would have won the game right there. It's okay. Um I can't get king tower activation still which is not great. I do definitely think i still want to go for it but it's not really like he doesn't really give me opportunities when he splits the pigs uh, if i just like sit there and take 400 damage sure i can do it but i don't want to take much damage that's kind of my goal so i'm going to drop the evo mk in the back i'm hoping this card gets me some good value in this matchup but i'm not sure since it, since it is another cycle matchup that that it's going to do like anything spectacular i'm going to go wizard like this really bad timing actually because it's going to get clipped by that log uh, he does earthquake so i can go here then skellies for the cannon okay he doesn't play the cannon he goes for the pigs which are going to get eaten alive by my skellies evo mk on the right side <laughs> it's getting some uh, decent value on that on that archer queen wizard gets a hit but it doesn't really matter too much because i'm obviously not going to switch lanes anyways so i'm just going to drop this in the back if he does go in i could just mk or fireball haven't decided which one i want to do yet to be honest um i'm gonna go for the expo like this i'm surprised he didn't cannon predict that but it's all good he's gonna go for the pigs on the opposite lane i can just fireball skellies that shouldn't take any hits or if i do it's gonna be like no it's definitely no hits right yeah perfect um ah, this is this is tough to break through for sure i'm gonna go mk the back i know this is like a pretty aggressive play and he could go piggies but i have my wizard in rotation as well we have so many good responses for the pigs that i think we're chilling the problem is he could probably just earthquake cycle me and win the game if i'm gonna be completely honest but i'm gonna go for the expo in the opposite lane i could fireball that queen we'll have to see no i'm just gonna fireball this and then go skellies again on top of the pigs um should be a decent cleanup no damage once again then i can log perfect log it's gonna clip all the evo skellies jump mega knight get on tower get on tower nice it's on tower oh my gosh that's clutch okay i can just wait for a second that's actually so clutch because now i can be super aggressive um and i don't really have to worry about the end of the game spell cycling i, I can just keep making him play play all of his elixir um on this opposite lane and then i should be able to get damage um with my fireballs at the end he's gonna let that expo connect which is actually a big mistake by him taking two or three hundred damage um i'm actually just gonna mk the back don't want to play anything stupid at this point we actually have a solid lead <laughs> come on bro i need this win um He's going for the Earthquake Cycle, so I think it's my turn to go for a, a spell on his tower, since it doesn't really matter. If I drop that right now, it's not going to hurt me in any ways. So I'm just going to Ice Spirit on that. Oh, dang, I almost killed that before the Queen ability got off. That would have been nice. He's going to go for the Pigs. I can just NATO plus Wizard on top of those, and then MK is also going to help me out. Yeah, if he Earthquakes my tower, I can pretty much Fireball his tower. That's kind of, oh my gosh, MK is going crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the situation we're in right now. And yeah, the only way he could win this matchup is like split lane pressure. And uh, he was trying for a while, but there's no way that he could um get enough damage on this one single tower now at this point in the game i just need to cycle back to one more fireball and i do believe that tower is in fireball log tornado range unless i'm stupid i'm just gonna go ice bear like this yeah it definitely is so i'm just gonna go here cycle to my fireball and that's ggs um yeah that's enough right perfect fireball does like 302 or something and then i can just nato to finish off the game beautiful clash royale guys we took a <laughs> took a pretty solid win there you know i think it's funny how people put log bait or like whatever deck they're playing in their name it's just like <laughs> 
I mean, I get you love the deck, bro, but come on, don't make it that obvious that you're gonna princess. I knew it, bro! I knew he was gonna princess the bridge. Okay, it's fine. Um, he does have Cannoneer, so he might have, like, a different version of bait. I don't really see people playing traditional bait with the Cannoneer, but, uh, yeah, I'm already annoyed at this guy because Princess the Bridge, Barrel first play, I mean, come on, bro, come on. I'm just gonna cycle the... I don't wanna cycle anything, to be honest here, because I think it's just kind of a waste. I'm gonna go Wizard in the back now. Um, when you do get in this rotation, I have to Ice Spirit and Skellies. Oh, I did not realize I was in the front, but that's fine because the King Tower is activated. Um, but when you get in a rotation with the MK, the Wizard the expo and the fireball like in cycle you just kind of have to sit there and wait because if you play oh he does have rocket too dang it okay that's rough um but if you play one of those you can easily just lose other lane but i also have really bad uh you know i just want to play something and play the game right because it's clash royale <laughs> so i don't have the patience to just sit here and wait so i don't know I've got to learn that patience again, and yes, I know it's crazy saying I don't have any patience coming from uh, an ice bow player, but it is true, it is hard to have patience, so we'll see what building this guy has, probably a Tesla, um, he's going to try and activate King, I'm just going to prediction NATO, oh, I thought he was going to pull to the King Tower, that's awkward, you know what, honestly, that didn't even work out that badly, at least I did catch something and didn't just uh, <laughs> tornado the air, so, you know, I'm not mad about it, I'm just going to wait for a second on this Valk, and then go for the Ice Spirit up high like this, um skelly's up high that's fine yeah i mean not bad he could princess the bridge again i would not be surprised um i kind of want to just go like wizard evo the back because he can't really kill it if he does go oh perfect timing that's good um if he does go for the log rocket on that he's going to be down like seven elixir then i can just mk expo and probably win so i think he is smarter than that he's going to log that off okay i'm going to go mk the, the bridge in front of this wizard actually nato that princess in right away perfect okay um, this is gonna be my chance to do something, I think. He has to go for a card on top. What? Holy- wait, push it, to, push it to the tower? That's good. Jump again. Please jump again. Please jump again. Oh my gosh, MK. What? Oh my- <laughs> Guys, that's not real. See, this is what I mean. It's so situational. Like, the first couple games of this video, I haven't done anything with the MK. It really hasn't done much for me, um, offensively especially. And then all of a sudden, it just, like, randomly jumps on the tower, uh, starts beating up a Valkyrie evolution, and, and somehow, even though the Valkyrie evolution is supposed to pull cards to it, it literally pushes it away, and then he loses the game. I don't even know what just happened, to be honest, or how to describe what just happened, but I guess it's a win. <laughs> Okay, as soon as I finish recording this video, I'm about to go to a basketball, uh, why I have a basketball game, and bro, I'm so fed up right now with, uh, the people, like, on my team, bro, because, uh, it's just, like, a fun league with my friends, right, and then they just, like, don't respond until the, until, like, it is the day to play, and then randomly, some, sometimes they'll just be like, oh, I can't play, like, this has happened two weeks in a row, and now we're only gonna have, like, five people again, which is rough for a basketball game, but it's just, like, bro, I don't know, it feels like I'm, um, uh, I don't even know. It feels like I'm trying to get in contact with, like, a friend from, like, 9,000 miles away when it's literally just my friends that are, like, in on, in a league with me. But I'm just going to go for the MK on top of uh, the Ram Rider right here. He's probably playing P.E.K.K.A. I just realized. Oh, no. Two P.E.K.K.A.s? <sighs> I can beat P.E.K.K.A. If I play really good, I think I can beat P.E.K.K.A. I did beat it earlier. But um, oh, I kind of want to Expo, but I think it's just too aggressive. If I Expo and then he has, like, Bomber or something random... Um, then I'll probably just lose straight up, so I'm just gonna go wizard like this. I need to go wizard Skelly's Quake so the, the ghost gets splashed. Um, there's the void, alright. Hmm. I think we're good if I just nato this up high. Do I need to ice spirit that? Yeah, I definitely do because the packer would get a hit. At least I got King Tower. He could go Ram Rider on zero. That would not be a bad play. Um, but I do have Evo Wizard and Cycle. <laughs> I'm going to be P.E.K.K.A. back to back. Come on, guys. I believe in myself. Um, but I'm probably going to actually give this deck a crack, like an actual attempt of pushing up um, a couple, at least for a couple weeks. I do want to see if this is like, if MK Evo is actually usable in the season because it's a fun new card in my opinion. Um, you know, it, it's stupid, right? It's stupid, but it is fun. You got to admit it, it at least has some fun moments like last game. Um, just randomly taking his entire tower was pretty cool, but I'm just going to log that back and that's fine. Okay. I could honestly, uh, it's tempting, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go for the um, MK the back here. He's going to just pack of this. That's fine though honestly this is the uh this is a weird statement but i think going mk um the back into a packet isn't even that bad of a play anymore since it is the evolution one um he's gonna have to play a bunch of more cards and stuff so i'm just gonna go wizard the bridge i have to dps this down as quick as possible ice spirit's gonna help me out uh with keeping that expo alive and then it's gonna pretty much die mk's punching that thing oh my gosh how did that not jump on tower by the way i just got scammed uh, but just gonna cycle log like this and then i just have to go mk on top of the ghost he's probably gonna pack it again in the back 
yeah this is rough <laughs> yeah i mean we're looking all right to be honest so far i think if i play a defensive expo that could be good and then maybe block the void with an ice spirit for the second and third strikes um then we might be in business but we'll have to see he's gonna go ram rider the back that's fine i'm gonna drop my wizard like this and then i could just go for the log push everything back there's the evol uh, not the evolution the void i can just mk on top of this no if i had one more elixir i could have kept that <gasps> no i missed okay mk is gonna save me well i got scared for a second there um but if i if i had one more elixir i could have kept that wizard alive right there which would have been super cool but i have to defense about immediately here the reason i'm playing this on zero elixir is so i can start dpsing down the pekka hopefully is my goal um because as long as i have an expo down he has to avoid the expo or he's not really going to break through if that makes sense uh, and then once he avoids the expo like he is going to do right here i can just pretty much defend with my wizard um and it should be enough i think okay ghost needs to relax i just got two hits on my tower that's crazy um but i think we're fine honestly it's, it's looking good so far i'm just gonna skellies i think we can go same lane since his big spell is the void and not like a lightning or something if they have lightning i'd probably just give up immediately in this matchup but I'm just gonna cycle the wizard i'm gonna go expo since he pack is the back um force out at least five elixir from him since he goes for the ram rider um i'm gonna just let that go i know it's like gonna connect to my tower or whatever uh which is fine i'm just gonna cycle log and then i can also go for the mega knight the back just reset in the back i don't need to be, be uh, too aggressive <clears throat> Um, as I have an expo with the bridge, <laughs> but I'm just gonna cycle the wizard in the in the back in front or behind this mega knight. I mean, um, go for another defensive bow. I think since he just played his void like that, that's perfect. Um, I don't know, guys. This is like weird. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working. If that makes sense, I'm just gonna go for the evo mk in the back. There's the ghost. I could just scale these on top of that. It's 40 seconds remaining, so I need to defend like two more pushes realistically if I want to win this game. So we're gonna cycle log. It's gonna knock back the ram, the pekka. And that's, oh my gosh, MK chill. Holy cow, that's crazy. Uh, Expo like this. Yep, we're good somehow. Wizard's gonna help me out, guys. I'm actually gonna win this, I think. I just need one fireball on this tower to win. Okay, I'm gonna take the fireball now to knock back the ghost. 20 seconds, as long as I can defend a Ram Rider with my Expo, or at least like hold off long enough to uh, keep the Ram Rider at the river. Oh no. No, I can get Expo down. We're fine. This is not even a worrisome uh, push right here because Expo's going to tank for long enough time. I can just log in the NATO's tower for a good measure. What a game, guys. We beat P.E.K.K.A. twice. I mean, come on, bro. This deck is cooking, but... I really think it's going to take me a while to get used to playing this deck and uh, the cycle, especially with the new Evo MK and how clunky it is. Uh, it is a lot of fun, though, so if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with the next one. Peace.